Hallelujah, you are so good. You are mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We live for you, Lord. We live for you. We live for you, Lord. We live for you. Use us for your glory, Lord. We live for you. We give you the highest praise. We live for you, no one like you, Lord. We live for you, you are so worthy, Lord. We live for you, despite ourselves, Lord. We live for you. We serve you, Lord, we live for you. Lord, we thank you and we praise you, O God, as we enter into day 17 of our fast. We pray, Holy Spirit, for your hedge of protection around us. Father, continue to give us the fire, continue to give us the, give us the fight that we will continue, Lord, fervently. We ask that you cover and keep each and every one of your children. Father, you already prayed for us in John 17, that God, even though we are not of this world, we are yet in it. And God, you've given us all that we need that we can overcome and we can endure. We pray, Holy Spirit, that we will not falter in the faith. We pray, Holy Spirit, that we will not backslide and turn around from you. That no matter what comes our way, no matter what tribulations may come our way, that God, we will stay with you. Father, the word says, on Christ the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. The song, Lord Jesus. And so God, we know that on Christ the solid rock we stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Father, where can we go but to you? Father, what is there outside of you? Where can we go, Lord? Who can we lean on? Who can we cling to? Who can transform us into his marvelous light? Who can love us like you, God? We pray, Holy Spirit, that in all we do, that we will always love you, God. And we will stay close to you, Lord Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that you will create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Let us not stray from you. Let us not fall asleep to this world. Let us not have the illusion, O oh God, that the world is better when it is not. Father, let us not forget the sacrifice that you made. Father, how you went to Gethsemane and prayed so many times to the Father, asking that the cup will be removed from you, that maybe you did not have to drink from the cup of crucifixion, but yet, Lord, you said, let your will be done. And so, Father, let us have that same mentality that, God, no matter what is going on in this world, no matter what we may feel, no matter what we may fear, that, God, we will not pass this cup from ourselves, God, to save our skin and to have some sort of recognition and notoriety in this world. Father, in all things, give us the strength by the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to stand fast in the liberty wherein you have made us free, and we will not be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. We thank you that we realize that this battle is not against flesh and blood, but it is against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. So, Father, we thank you that we have on the full armor of God. We have on the helmet of salvation, Father God. We thank you that we have the sword of the Spirit, that we have the breastplate of righteousness, that we have the belt of truth, 
that we have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And we have the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. And we thank you that our feet is shod for the preparation of the gospel of peace. And we thank you that in all things, we are singing hymns and singing praise and encouraging one another. We thank you that in all things, O oh God, we are denying our flesh. Let us not forget, God, that there's a this kind, a this kind that comes out only by prayer and fasting. So, Lord, let us not neglect prayer and fasting. Let us not loving one another. Let us not neglect charity. Let us not neglect obedience, Lord Jesus, and doing your will. Father, we thank you that we do not walk after the flesh, but we walk after the spirit. Let the fruit of the spirit begin to manifest in our lives in areas, O oh God, where we come up short. Father, remove those things from us. Remove sin, remove evil, remove impatience, remove unkindness from us, O oh God. There is no one that is perfect. So Lord, let us not begin to think that we are. But Lord, we desire to be perfect like you as we obey you and do your perfect will. We thank you, Lord God, that we do not look for the flesh and to walk after the flesh. And we're not sowing to the flesh. But God, we're walking in the fruits of the Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that we're seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that everything shall be added to us, Lord, if we seek you first. Let us not seek to be rich and seek to be famous and seek to be successful in this world. But God, that we seek you first so that anything else you reward us with in this world will be from you because what God, what you give us, it adds no sorrow. We thank you that we're walking according to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that says that we are to trust in the Lord with all our heart, lean not unto our own understanding. In all our ways acknowledge you and you shall direct our paths. We thank you that we're walking according to Psalm 1 that says, Blessed is a man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law we will meditate day and night. We thank you we're walking according to Psalms 23 that says, The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth us beside the still waters. He restores our soul. Father, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. You are our rod, you are our staff, you comfort us. Father, your word says that you will silence our enemies. You will break the teeth of our enemies. Your word says that the angel of the Lord will chase those who try to hurt us. Your word says that those who try to lay snares and traps, they will fall into it. So Father, as long as we're turning to you and as long as we're seeking you, we know we have nothing to worry about. We don't need to worry about who's talking about us. We don't have to worry about who's plotting against us. For Lord, you see and you hear all things. But all we have to do, God, is trust you completely and seek you out, and just love you, God, and do the right things, and obey your voice. Let us never quench the Holy Spirit. Let us not grieve the Holy Spirit. But Father, that we remember that you sent us a comforter, you sent us a teacher, you sent us one that will guide us into all truth. So let us not be seeking out things from everybody else but you, Lord, but that we're seeking you first. So we thank you, Lord God, and Lord, I end this prayer by saying, Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. My God, you're an awesome God. You reign from heaven above with wisdom dumb power and love my god you're an awesome god we thank you for who you are lord i thank you for giving me the gift of song that i can sing to you lord i thank you god that we're using whatever our gifts may be whether we can sing or not that we will still sing unto you that we will still clap to you we will still tell you how much you are appreciated and how much we love you for God, you called us and you chose us. You didn't have to, Lord. I was living in sin and doing what I wanted to do. But yet, God, you chose me. You chose to protect me. You chose to keep me. You chose to call us out of darkness. So we thank you, Lord, for calling us out of sin and out of unrighteousness. 
Lord, let us make you proud. Let us make you proud with our walk in you. Let us not squander your salvation and your grace and your mercy. But Lord, we will put a smile on your face where others may bring a frown, where in the past we have disappointed you. Let us now be fervent in walking uprightly and in what pleases you. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I encourage you to continue on your fast to whatever capacity the Lord has given it to you. And if not, just continue to pray for those of us who are fasting and continue to pray for the world. Continue to pray for your families. Continue to pray for your loved ones. Just give God glory and honor and praise, guys. It's in worship and it's in praise that there will be victory. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.